Hi. As we have discussed, the main goal of this course is to figure out how to find quality information and to figure out how to help other people find quality information, of course. Now, we'll be primarily interested in how to find accurate information. But of course, accuracy is just one dimension of information quality. We would also like our information to be complete, up to date, easy to understand, etc. This week, we will discuss what these different dimensions of information quality are. In addition, we will discuss how these different dimensions are related. For example, one dimension of information quality that is frequently discussed is currency or timeliness. However, this is usually not something that we value for its own sake. Typically, we want information that is up to date because that information is more likely to be accurate. For instance, suppose that I want to know whether my local drugstore is open past 8. So I go to check its hours on the store's website, and sure enough, it's supposed to be open until 9. But I'm going to be more confident that my trip to the store will not be wasted if the website was updated last week than if the web website was updated last year. If the website was only updated last year, there is a chance that while the store was opened until 9 last year, it no longer stays open that late. So it seems like we're interested in currency because we're interested ultimately in accuracy. Another issue is what to do if these different dimensions of information quality come into conflict. In other words, when one information source does better on one dimension, while another information source does better on another dimension. For instance, Wikipedia provides greater detail on more topics than Encyclopedia Britannica. However, Wikipedia entries are often not as well written as Encyclopedia Britannica entries. The analogous issue arises with almost any type of product that we buy. For instance, one car might have greater acceleration, while another car might get better gas mileage or need fewer repairs. In that case, when you have this sort of conflict, which car should you buy? Well, that's it for now. Take a look at the readings and the rest of the lecture, and I'll see you online. Thanks very much.